cat. Not just any cat, a ragdoll cat, because I've wanted a cat ever since I had Mew Mew back when I was living in Cardiff when I was looking after someone else's cat but Mew Mew was low-key crazy like she you couldn't pick her up because she would scram you she would I was scared of Mew Mew but I I still loved her so much so I'm like imagine having a nice friendly cat I was on TikTok the other day and a video of someone with a cat came up and I was like what breed of cat is that it is gorgeous it is so cute and cuddly and I saw that it was a ragdoll cat so I tried to search for how I could adopt one but lo and behold obviously there's none in my area or that I can find up for adoption because they are a specific very popular breed um, they're basically like the dogs of the cat world apparently so I found this breeder well I found a load of breeders or people who sell ragdoll cats and I messaged them all all certified breeders and this one guy was like he has one kitten left and sent me a photo and it's so cute and so here I am he sent me the address and I just googled it like oh, okay it's like a 50 minute drive cool 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 and then as I kept driving 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 I'm like I'm no longer in London what are all these beautiful fields and green and it was a gorgeous drive like I'm very grateful um but yeah, I'm here. I'm going to see if I can film the kids in because I would love to. I don't know why I pulled over on this road. People are literally doing 60 miles per hour when it's clearly 30. But I'm going to drive up to the house now and see if we can view my new kitten maybe she's not available to pick up for another six weeks so if this seems really rushed and short notice don't worry um i'm just viewing today just meeting her to see what she's like in person and meet the breeders meet the mum like you know just get a better idea of the whole process i've been doing a lot of reading and watching youtube videos and yes it's one of those things kind of like with my fireplace where i'm like i get an idea and then i'm like i will make this happen and then i spend every other week moment thinking about how i can make this happen <laughs> Um, but I don't want to rush it and again as I say there is the process of like viewing the cat getting to know the, the owners and um, I'll have to do a load of like a load more research basically but I thought I'd grab my camera as I come to this cat I do have an acting class after this so it's going to be wham bam thank you ma'am um, but hopefully they won't mind me taking some videos okay I gotta get back I got to the house and the breeder introduced me to the two beautiful kittens. Now, there was only one still available. Her name was Coco. The other kitten had been snapped up by another family, um, but I had so much fun getting to know Coco. So I sat down and was speaking to the breeder. He was happy with me filming, by the way. He was super lovely. And he was telling me about how him and his wife got into breeding cats and that this was actually their first litter. So they talked me through the whole process, how the process of buying a kitten would work. Um, they told me a lot about the mum and I got to meet the mum and just see how chilled she was. She was super calm and friendly and let me pick her up. And so that's always a good sign, although I know that every cat is different. <laughs> so yeah, you still have to be prepared um, that they'll all be unique. Coco was actually really shy, which was super cute. Um, and the other kitten was a bit more playful and you could really see that in their nature. I did not grow up with animals in the house. We had hamsters, but we didn't have like a cat or a dog. Growing up, I've always loved dogs and I really thought I was a dog person. And so finding out that I'm also a cat person over the last few years was quite a revelation, but I do absolutely adore cats and I definitely want to get one. Now, you might be able to guess from the sun at the start of the video that this video was not filmed recently. It was actually filmed last July and at the time of recording this, I do not have a cat. I did decide to hold off because I wanna make sure that I have enough time during the day when I'm not busy at work, because I do work as a junior doctor and an actress at the moment, which is very time consuming. And I wanna be able to be home and spend time with my kitten during the day and bond with them. And I definitely do want a kitten. So I've just kind of been keeping my eye out, checking up on um, different shelters and adoption pages um, and keeping in the loop with some breeders because I'm really not sure what route I'm going to go down with. I know that people say that you should adopt um, and so yeah I'm really keeping my eyes open because I'm definitely sure that I want a ragdoll kitten. It's just a matter of getting the timing but I thought it'd be nice to still share this process with you and, and my journey of learning more about getting a cat and what that could look like for me as a working woman <laughs> with a lot of stuff on but I hope that you've enjoyed this video watching these adorable videos of these adorable kittens because you can never have too many cat videos let's be honest thanks so much for watching and i will keep you updated on my journey to becoming a ragdoll cat mum hopefully sometime soon <laughs> see you in my next video bye